Hi everyone, this is my nighttime routine. Usually in the evenings you'll find me editing, but when I finally force myself to close my laptop, I head straight to the bathroom to get ready for bed. My routine has been pretty much the same for as long as I can remember, so here's what I do. I tie up my hair for what's about to go down, and the first thing I always do is take out my contacts. After staring at the computer for hours, this feels so good. Next, I remove my makeup using this cleansing balm, and surprisingly, this stuff will take off waterproof mascara and lash glue. You just have to really work it in those stubborn areas. I work this on my face with dry hands and then rinse it off. Next, I always go in with a foaming cleanser. Double cleansing after removing my makeup is crucial to ensure that I get all that makeup off. Once my face is squeaky clean and my baby hairs are absolutely drenched, I brush my teeth. Nothing fancy here, you guys know the drill. I try to brush until the timer on my toothbrush stops, but sometimes I get impatient and cut it short. And if you don't already scrape your tongue and floss, you have to get on it. These two are non-negotiable for me, and they're so good for your oral health. Then I hop in the shower and use my scalp massager to shampoo my hair. After I condition and wash my body, I use this KP body scrub. If you guys have those annoying bumps on your arms, this will help to exfoliate and smooth out that area. And of course, gotta moisturize my entire body after. I have really dry skin, so this is a must for me. I like to brush my hair and then do my skincare routine. You guys have seen me do this so many times, so I'm not going to go super in depth with it. But it's basically toner, vitamin C serum, moisturizer, and eye cream. If you want a deeper look into what I do, check out my routine in the cards. My skincare routine has sort of become a ritual for me, and taking my time with it really helps me to relax after a long day. At this point, after washing my face and showering, my sinuses clear up, so I like to blow my nose to just get everything out. And if you don't look at the tissue afterward, I'm sorry, but you're lying. I feel like the ears are a neglected area, so I make sure to clean them with a Q-tip. Anyone who has long hair knows that going to sleep with it wet is not that comfortable, so I like to blow dry it partially just so that my back isn't sopping wet when I lay down. After this step, my hair gets very big. I pop in my retainers and then head back to my room. I organize my desk a little bit just so that it's clean and ready for the next day. And in my opinion, there's nothing better than waking up to a clean room. I make sure to chug some water and then apply my lash serum. I've been trying to grow my lashes again, so I do this right before I go to bed. And I don't know why I don't do this step in the bathroom. I guess I just have to do it in front of this mirror. And of course, gotta moisturize my lips so that they're hydrated throughout the night. I climb into bed, and I know it's not good to look at your phone before going to sleep, but to be honest, it's just my way to wind down. And that is my nighttime routine. I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night.